What's happening, everybody? This is Aaron Spears here. I'm coming at you live from Zildjian Live Season 2. I've got the esteemed honor and pleasure to be sitting with Ash Stone. Ash, mate. Oh, my God. <laughs> so happy to have you here, man. Thank you, Aaron. I'm uh, happy to be here. Dude, I, I was um, just so blown away at the, the career you've had. I mean, it, it spanned decades, bro. I mean, Thank you, you, you yeah. recorded with some of everybody, so many different genres, uh, so many different fields. I mean, dude, your your career is it's insane. Thank you, mate. I'm still going, hopefully, too. Yeah, yeah no, no, you are. <laughs> You're not going anywhere because we need you, brother. We Thank need you. you. Yeah. Um, I want to talk uh, about the first thing, man, that, that strikes me uh, with your plan is your tones. Your drum tones are insane. What the heck? How did you develop this? Is this just something that you just sat down at the kit, you know, 20, 30 years ago and just were able to just hash this thing out? Is this something over time that you it's worked It's over with? time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, are you, are you talk also talking about my, my studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, one of the things, and actually Steve Jordan talks about this, mm -hmm. why he got into engineering mm -hmm. was because he, he felt that when he sometimes when he did sessions he'd go go back into the room and listen back to himself yeah. and oh it doesn't sound like I thought it sounded yeah. like my kit doesn't sound my the drum kit isn't represented mm -hmm. like I want it to be so he kind of you know as far as I'm aware he started to that was one of the, the factors that made him start to get into engineering because yeah. he wanted to control the way that he came across yeah for sure uh, and I sort of I, I feel that too yeah. I mean um so over the years, I've watched engineers and what they do to yeah. the drums in on sessions mm -hmm. and, and microphones, what they put in here. Yeah. And, and you, in, you know, as lots of guys that, that record, mm -hmm. yourself included, yeah. you do start seeing the same mm -hmm. microphones yeah. cropping up. Yeah. Oh, it's one of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And I just sort of, I guess over the years, took note of all that. Uh, and the sounds, like all of us, we've got sounds in our heads mm -hmm. that, we, we, want that we want to reproduce yeah uh, and you can do it somewhat mm -hmm. with acoustic drums you can dampen them yeah and you can you know you, you change the heads mm -hmm. Mark Giuliano can put stuff that he's found yeah, on top of him to, make, to create that sound and that's he's, really cool he's such a weirdo he's so good <laughs> <laughs> but the next stage for yeah. me was well, okay so what I like the fact that when it, go, it disappears down that little lead, yeah, mm -hmm. and then goes into the computer, and yeah. then some something happens to it, right? And, I, and it really uh, struck me like, what are these guys doing? So mm -hmm. I, I, over the years, I've just slowly been learning how to engineer, yeah, and the tricks that they're using to make a fat snare drum decay in a certain way mm -hmm. that sounds that's almost electronic, yeah. Um, it's cool but it's like it's definitely like you know, a lot of guys sometimes think that I'm using samples at my studio I never do that I'm just I'm just you know playing just with the sound yeah, yeah yeah and get the you know so get the core sound of yeah. the drum get it all as close as you can to mm -hmm. what the sound is in your head and then you can start you know dude, messing you can, around dude you could teach a class just on that I mean just just on your to your tones alone bro I mean if you decided to kind of share some of that information, yeah. people will be lined up. I mean, you, you've done a really good job, I think, of kind of putting out there social media just like a taste of what it is that you do, which is which is fantastic. But I, I think that if you um, made an offering to be able to kind of share a little bit more, yeah. dude, people would be all over Well, yeah, there are people on my case to do this. Yeah. Um, but you know, what's interesting is you know, no one's really shown me how to do it. So mm -hmm. at, at first, when real engineers or real producers came to my studio, mm -hmm. in fact, I remember the first time it happened, um, I, was, I was like, oh no, they're gonna see what I'm doing. Yeah. They're gonna go, get on my computer and they're gonna see mm -hmm. my process. Yeah. And they're gonna just be like, what are you doing that for? You know, <laughs> and, and, you know like, no, 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 you don't do like that. Yeah. You know, if you wanna get that sound, you don't use these three things, mm -hmm. you just need to do this. Yeah. Um, and, Funny enough, the producer that came up said, he just said, it's really interesting what you're doing. You mm. know? And he said, but you know, one thing about recording is there's no rules. Yeah. And I guess there's no real rules in music. It's very true. It's the sound. Yep. And the emotion that you want to get across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's about that. Yeah. Uh, 
and whichever way you find it, mm -hmm. um, that's what that's what matters. Is the, is the, is the, the process. Yes. And Absolutely. you know, I now I'm sort of quite proud of the noise I'm getting. Yeah. Um, in my sort of messed up kind of way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's and now I'm, I'm embracing the fact that you know there are no rules. So yeah. I'm like really mm -hmm. extremely messing around. Yeah. It's, <laughs> with, it's killing with bro. the sound of things. It's killing. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I will definitely take you up on that. Yeah. There's a few people on, on me sure. to do to do that thing. It's awesome. Yeah. Look, I, I know this is this may be a little bit weird. Um, but you know, when I was, you know, kind of looking some things up, I mentioned to my son that, that you had worked on Kung Fu Panda three. Yes. He wants to know what was it like working with Poe? <laughs> well, he was right there on a screen about that thing. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's just, it's so, it's, it's just, it's great to, to hear your influence, your musical influence on so many different things in so many different ways. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, um, about Zildjian Live and uh, this whole experience and yep. you being a part of this with Spud and, and the band. Can you just, just give me a brief overview of how things have been so far? Well, uh, so I, sp I met Spud last year on yeah. a drum camp. 21 drum camp. That's right. Yeah, with Mike Johnson. And we hung out and nice. uh, it was a, it's a pleasure to be with him and, and to watch him play. I mean, what, what, what a musician. Uh, obviously not only an incredible drummer, mm -hmm. it's, it's just outrageous. He's special. And a very warm, hearted beautiful fella you know yeah um so it's great and it, the track he you know he's obviously very conscious of what everyone's doing and mm -hmm. he wants to make sure that everyone feels comfortable yeah um especially people like me where i you know it's very it's quite specific mm -hmm. what i do i and i haven't really got the facility to 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 show any you know no. so he was very aware like you know i'm gonna keep it you do but in a in a very ash very tasteful way Thank you, mate. Yeah, really. Well, that's, he's made sure that I can, that I feel comfortable. Yes, yeah. really. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. And the band, I mean, man, <laughs> what a band! I felt for him, you know, at rehearsals. There's a lot of material. So much. So much material, and he's he's pretty tough with them. Yeah, he is. Uh, the term that I heard yesterday, he just said, "I don't want to hear the C." I'm thinking we're quite a long way from the C. Then I realised, obviously, you meant somebody's playing a C <laughs> in a chord. Yes, one yes. of the musicians is yes. Just yeah, I'm yeah. doing that. It might not be guitar player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he's on it. Yeah, know? he is. Uh, and it, which makes you lift your game. You've yeah. got to keep up with those those dudes. And I, but I'm honoured to be here. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm. I guess I'm slightly older than the the usual faces that come along. But I'm, I'm very very honoured to be here, man. Yeah. And, um, and I'm certainly going to try and play my heart out. You definitely. You definitely are. It's crazy. I was speaking to uh, one of my reps. Um, just about the whole event and everyone that was here and uh, when your name came up as being one of the players he was just saying how you have this ability to translate the joy which you're feeling and you're playing to other people it just makes people feel better great you well, know that's, that's lovely to hear that I, that's yeah. what I hope yeah, you Chris know? Hart was the one that he said that. Oh, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The biggest heart in the business. Yeah, he is. He's the heart <laughs> of the business. Uh, but he mentioned that, man. I have to say it's, it's definitely true. You know, just watching you you play, it's, it's contagious, man. It feels, it, you make the stuff feel good. So we're honored and, and happy to have you here today and, and looking forward to hearing you play. And I hope that the people check it out and love it as much as we do. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, dude. Ash, appreciate Mate. your time today, man. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Zilton Live Season 2 coming at you really soon. Thank you guys for watching.